Medicare AEP changes for 2021. If you already have Medicare and you want to know what has changed for 2021 and what to do about it, this video is for you. This video is specifically for people who already have a Medicare supplement or a standalone Part D prescription drug plan or a Medicare Advantage plan. If you want to know what may be changing for 2021, what's going to remain the same, and of course what to do about it, we have the answers in this video. I'm going to talk about Medicare Part A and Part B for 2021, Medicare Supplement Plans, Medicare Advantage Plans, and standalone Medicare Part D prescription drug plans for 2021. Medicare's annual election period is from October 15th through December 7th, and open enrollment is from January 1 all the way through March 31. I'm going to talk about what you can do and what you should do during these annual periods as well. If you're new to Medicare and in your initial enrollment period, or you will soon be new to Medicare Part B in the months ahead, this annual election period is not for you. You have a different special or initial enrollment period. The annual election period is for those who already have Medicare. So this will not be a long video, but the information is important. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Matthew Clausen with MedigapSeminars.org. My company is an independent insurance brokerage specializing in Medicare and your retirement needs. We help people with their Medicare decisions in virtually every state of the country. We work with all the Medicare supplement plans. We work with Medicare Advantage plans and Medicare Part D prescription drug plans. And our services are free to you, the consumer. You don't pay us. This video, like all my videos, has no advertisements. We do not generate revenue by your just watching this video. Our business is to help you with your Medicare. So please contact us for personalized advice and private consultations. Let's start with Medicare Parts A and Part B inpatient and outpatient coverage. Every year, typically early November, Medicare announces the new premiums, the deductibles and co-pays for the year ahead. As I make this video in October of 2020, there's not yet been an official announcement for 2021, not just yet. Linked below this video are the current Medicare premiums, deductibles, etc. As soon as the new rates are announced for 2021, that link will be updated just for you. But here's what you need to know right now. First, your Medicare Part B premium, which starts at $144.50 for 2020, can increase. If you are not yet taking your Social Security income, your Medicare Part B premium will increase to whatever level they announce for 2021. If you are taking your Social Security income, your Medicare Part B premium can only increase no more than the percentage increase in your Social Security Cost of Living Index, your COLA. So if Medicare announces a Part B premium rate increase to $150, for example, if you're not yet receiving your Social Security benefits, your new rate will be $150. If you are receiving Social Security benefits and the COLA index is up just 1.5%, then your Part B premium can only increase by 1.5% and will be less than $150. As for the rest, expect the annual Medicare Part B deductible, the Medicare Part A deductible, and some of the co-pays all will likely increase slightly. If you're paying more for your Part B premium due to IRMA, your income-related monthly adjustment amounts, that table is also expected to change as well. That's Medicare. We can't do anything about those changes except be aware and be ready for them. So look for the link below this video to be updated anywhere from early to mid-November for the 2021 numbers. Now, let's look at Medicare supplement plans. The good news about Medicare supplement plans is that the benefits never change. Once you have a Medicare supplement plan, no one can change your benefits or take them away from you, not even an act of Congress. For example, Medicare Supplement Plan G pays all of your inpatient or outpatient Medicare expenses 
except the annual Medicare Part B deductible. The Part B deductible can change, but the benefits of the Supplement Plan G cannot. So there are no 2021 Medicare supplements. They're the same as 2020, 2019, 2018, and so on. The benefits have not changed. There should not be 2021 Medicare supplement prices. Well, let me explain. Medicare supplement plans do not operate on a calendar year basis. They operate on a contract year basis. Whatever month that you started your plan is the contract anniversary. The rate increase should typically be only on that contract anniversary. Sometimes it's different, but that's typically how it should be. However, I am quite aware that there are insurance companies that love to announce new rate increases at the beginning of each year. It's like uh, rate increases are an annual right. If you have a Medicare supplement plan from a company that does this, I can assure you, you are with a company that has a higher than average price increase and will likely be more expensive over your lifetime. I suggest you look at other insurance companies to see how much that you can reduce your costs. Keep in mind, there's no annual election period for a Medicare supplement plan. You can change Medicare supplement plans at any time if you qualify medically, depending on your state. Some states have special rules that override Medicare. First, here's what's important to understand right now about your Medicare supplement plans. In the last two years, I have seen some frightening price increases across the board from some insurance companies. It's not the plan. It's not plan G versus plan N. It's the insurance company. Certain insurance companies unleashing price increases that are near 10% or over. If you've experienced a Medicare supplement price increase of near 10% or higher, please don't just take it on the chin. Not every insurance company is suffering such high price increases. Get in touch with us. Let us know which plan you have and which insurance company, and we're going to look at the other companies or other plans that will keep your costs down. My goal is to put you with companies that are price stable and more likely to provide a low cost over your lifetime. So if you are one of those people who are with the wrong insurance company, I can typically save you between, well, $600 and $1,800 a year in premiums with the exact same plan. That aside, uh, today as I'm filming this, it's Sunday, October 18th, and already every day on the last week as we started Medicare, uh, the annual election period, I have received at least one email a day from people who are being priced out of their Medicare supplement plans. They're, you know, at near near 80 years old. They're now paying $400, $450 a month for their plan, and they can't afford it anymore. But their health has changed, so they can't fix the problem. And you know what? I know which company it is. Every single time I start reading that, I know which company that they're talking about. If you have a company, and there's two or three of them, but if you're in a company that raises their rates every year as this is your 2021 price increase, your 2019 price increase, it's just like clockwork, shop your plan. Do it now if you're still healthy and you can to get away from the price increases before it's too late. So if you've not experienced a significant price increase, you know, near 10% and you're happy with your plan, great. You don't have to do a thing. You are likely just find where you are. But you want to check your Medicare Part D prescription drug plan, and I'm going to have more than that in a minute. I understand some people are concerned about medical underwriting, which can be required when you change Medicare supplement plans. What is medical underwriting? Well, that's your insurance agent, us, asking specific yes or no questions about your medical history and your prescriptions. Then the insurance company checks a medical information clearinghouse that has those records as well. That's it. If you're not suffering from a critical or, or chronic condition or have had some serious medical event in your recent past, underwriting should not be a problem. Don't take high price increases on the chin. They cost you nothing to find out how much you're overpaying for your coverage. 
So next, let's talk about Medicare Advantage plans. There are a lot of new Medicare Advantage plans this year. Even more significantly, there are a lot of 2020 plans that are being canceled or changed. You must shop your Medicare Advantage plan each year to see what has changed or if something better is now available. In looking at plans across the country from the major carriers, I'm seeing a lot of new chronic illness special needs plans. These are plans that uh, specialize in specific chronic conditions. Most of the ones I've seen are for diabetes and for cardiac health issues. If you have a chronic condition, you should look to see if you have a chronic illness special needs plan that you qualify for in your area. Also, there are some insurance companies whose prescription drug portion of the Medicare Advantage plan is changing significantly, and I mean a lot. If you don't check your plan, you're at risk of finding out that one of your prescriptions is no longer on the formulary. The bottom line, do not assume that you can keep your 2020 plan into 2021. Many Medicare Advantage plans may have significant changes, so shop your plan and compare to the other plans. Make sure your doctors are still on the plans, etc. So with the technology that we have today, it's extraordinarily simple. You provide us with your list of doctors and your prescriptions. We enter it into a secure HIPAA compliant database that searches the plans that are available to you in your area. We can find the best fit for you in very little time. For example, which has the best prices for your prescriptions, which plans accept all of your doctors, and more. So gone are the days of trying to check each insurance company's website for information. We have it all in a database that scrubs the insurance company's websites. It copies the data from the insurance company's database as they update it. And it puts it in a format that we can use to help you shop your plans. It's the most advanced Medicare Advantage shopping software available. Now you have the annual election period between October 15th and December 7th to shop your Medicare Advantage plan and change if you wish. If you miss that time or if you find that you've made a bad choice, you also have between January 1 and March 31 where you can make one change, one change and one change only. You can switch Medicare Advantage plans, or you can move from an Advantage plan back to original Medicare. If you do, you can also apply for your Part D and a supplement. January 1 through March 31 is called Open Enrollment. Next up are standalone prescription drug plans. Here, too, are some of the most significant changes that I've ever seen. Some say that this AEP season is going to be the most disruptive period in Medicare Part D history, and I'd have to agree. Because of Medicare rules, I am not allowed to discuss any specific plans. It is against the rules. What I can say is that Humana released a statement to me indicating that there are a lot of important drug formulary changes in almost all of their plans this year. They also have big changes in premiums. So if you have a Humana Part D plan, you'll most certainly want to see if your prescriptions are still on the formulary and at what price. WellCare. WellCare was bought out by Centene. Lots of changes in WellCare. Its plans are now under their new ownership. Silver Script, owned by CVS and home of the most popular Medicare Part D a prescription drug plan in the country. CVS and Aetna have now merged, so these plans are now Aetna plans. The old Aetna plan was bought out by WellCare last year. Silver Script is introducing a new plan that I believe may have the lowest standalone Part D plan premium this year. They also canceled one of their plans. Mutual of Omaha canceling one plan, introducing another. There is more, but I don't need to list them all out or probably just bore you. The bottom line is you really need to reshop your prescription drug plan between October 15th and December 7th, where you run the risk of being stuck in a plan that might be more expensive for you. So this I've made very easy. You don't even have to call us. Just go to partdshopper.com. You enter in your prescriptions and your location, and my site will show you which of the Part D plans that I recommend will be your lowest cost for 2021. 
you can shop from the companies that I recommend, find the plan that's best for your needs and your budget, and enroll in just a few minutes' time. It's incredibly easy. When you enroll in a new plan, now Medicare will cancel your old plan, so you don't have to do anything. If you decide you want to stay with the plan that you have for next year, do nothing. It will automatically roll over for you. It's simple, it's quick, but it's very important. After December 7th, you'll not be able to change again until next October 15th, unless you have a special enrollment period. So that's it. That's all you have to do for this year's annual enrollment period. So now it's your turn. I made these videos for you. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what part of this video that you found the most informative or that you plan on using as you shop your Medicare. And if you have a question that I didn't answer, please ask it below. I will respond, maybe not immediately, but I will respond. I'm very interested in what you have to say. I hope you found this information helpful. Please press the like button, give us a thumbs up, share this video, comment below. As you interact with this video, you're telling YouTube that this is a good you know, video, that it um, answered your questions, and that YouTube will then rank it so that when other people are searching for the same answers that you were searching for, they'll find this video. Of course, you can subscribe to my channel to look at the other videos or go to my website, medigapseminars.org, or just type in hashtag medigapseminars into your search bar. I'm Matthew Clausen with medigapseminars.org. Thank you for watching.